Well, in our prior segment, we were studying the 50-30 standard three-cushion kick system, and we had to use those numbers with subtraction. Um, I'm going to try to uh, refine the system a little bit where you don't have to use the numbers when the cue ball shifts out of this corner pocket. This is going to make it just a little bit easier to get the numbering system. Uh, we're going to start again with the standard setup we had before. We have the object ball in this corner, which has a value of 20. The cue ball is in this corner, which has a value of 50. And if you remember when I shot down this line, I had to make the half a diamond adjustment for the short angle of the table, which is no problem. Uh, that, that's a normal thing no matter where you travel. So uh, you have to, again, be in touch with those elements uh, that where you play. If it's raining more, you're going to have to adjust for shorter tables. If it's real dry, sometimes you have to compensate the other direction. So just be aware of those things. Um, when you move this cue ball down the rail this way, or you move the cue ball down this short rail this way, the value of the cue ball changes. So we have to somehow come up with a value of the cue ball as it moves, but then you have to subtract the value of the object ball from it. And it gets a little bit complicated when you're in the heat of battle to make those subtractions. Uh, there's an actually an easier way to do it. Now, this is a generic system that works to within about a, a three ball air margin of the object ball. So your, your object ball is two and a quarter inches in the diameter. Uh, so on either side of that ball, you got two and a quarter inches. So you got a six and three quarter inch air margin, but you still should hit the ball. So in order to do this, we're just going to move the cue ball up the table somewhere about in this area. It could be anywhere at all. Uh, and from this corner where the cue ball was originally, we remember the line we had where we calculated from the corner 50-30, we moved down a half a diamond. All you've got to do when you get this calculation is take the line that you shoot down off the table through that half a diamond adjustment and go off the table about 7 to 10 feet. Now, it just so happens that in this room where we're filming, we have several cameras. And one of the cameras that we're looking at now has uh, you basically viewing some of this, this, this information from different angles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be aiming kind of at the camera at you, so I don't want you to move because I'm going to be aiming at you. And sometimes you can just pay somebody to sit in a chair, and if you aim at that person, you might have a good chance of making it yet. So that's some of my humor uh, that kind of went awry there. So we're going to go ahead and start here, go off the table with this line, straight off the table to the camera. Now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going out about seven feet out where that camera is. I'm going to basically aim right at that camera with the cue ball with the same English. So I'm aiming at the camera. I don't have to worry about any numbers at all, hitting the cue ball with high right, spinning the ball around the table, and the ball comes back like this and goes back to the corner pocket. That's amazing. Now, you can also do it anywhere on the, this end of the table. If your cue ball is down in this area, all you got to do is, again, is aim at the camera. So we go back again, establish the what's called spot on the wall. That's about 7 to 10 feet out. We come over here and we basically aim at you in the camera. So don't move, because we're going to aim right at you. We hit the cue ball this time again with high right, smooth stroke, around the table. Cue ball comes back over like this, comes over like this, and comes back to the corner pocket. Perfect. And I hit it perfect, which you remember before when we were talking about the scratches, that's when you hit it perfect. So I wouldn't be disappointed if I did that in a game using spot on the wall, and I scratched on it. I would feel pretty good about calculating the shot and without using numbers and being happy just because I made it. And then the next time, you can make that minimal adjustment from the perfection that you had then. So this is a really quick way of shooting a three cushion shot without using numbers. And I know you're going to enjoy it and have a lot of fun with this. You can aim it just about anywhere in a room, depending upon which direction you're heading. Memorize the points in the room. Memorize what you're aiming at. And you'll be able to shoot a much higher level of this game. So I hope you've enjoyed this CSI instructional tip.